Nigerian celebrity couple Banky W and Adesua Etomi has continued to press the neck of rumor mongers with lovely dovey photos and romantic banter and meat cheating scandal. It was alleged that singer, actor, and politician Olu Bankole Wellington, aka Banky W, is cheating on his wife Adesua Etomi with Niola who is reportedly pregnant for the singer. The allegations came after a gossip blog known as Gist Lovers hinted that Banky W is cheating on his actress wife Adesua Etomi with his record label SINE Niola. Banky W began to train for the wrong reason with many suggestive comments flying around but not a single statement from the couple directly addressing the rumor has been made. Instead, Banky W and Adesua Etomi keep sharing photos to show their admirers that all is well and pepper their critics who disperse the rumor and information. Just a few minutes ago, Banky W took to Instagram to share photos of himself, his wife and his son having a good time together. In the photos to show unity, he and his family held hands while in another, he and Adesua Etomi shared a deep kiss amongst others. Banky W captioned the photos SS Love, reacting in her usual romantic manner and affirming her love. Adesua Etomi responded, Are you a fan? Cause you blow me away. Applause. We are wrapped and shaded in his SS Love. Love you, Puba. They posted this picture to shame all those rumor bongas that are spreading fake rumor about them trying to destroy their family just the way they did to Yul Edoshie. But Banky W and Adesua Itomi played smart against them by not responding to the rumor, rather by posting romantic photos on social media to prove to the rumor bongas that they are in love with each other and nothing can separate them or break their marriage. In Onisha main market Anambra state, tension erupted on Tuesday evening when a laborer allegedly stabbed a yet to be identified businessman to death. The laborer said to be an Aosa man had been hired by the businessman to assist him in unloading goods at his warehouse in the baking material section of the market. According to an eyewitness, the situation escalated when the businessman's colleagues discovered him lying in a pool of blood while the Aosa laborer had disappeared. Licensed by the incident, local youth quickly organized a search for the assailant prompting other northerners in the area to seek shelter at the army barracks and central police station to avoid potential reprisal attacks by the angry mob. The state police population officer, DSP Kenga Tochuku, confirmed the incident as a case of murder that occurred around 4 p.m. on Bright Street inside the main market. While the identity of the culprit remained unknown, DSP Ikenga Tochuku emphasized that the person responsible would face the full force of the law once apprehended. Police personnel swiftly responded to the scene, discovering the victim in critical condition. Despite being rushed to the hospital, attending doctors pronounced him dead. The governor of Oshun State, Mr. Ademola Adeleke, has reportedly escaped an assassination attempt. According to our reliable source, the incident unfolded at the Oshobo Edi praying ground where chaos erupted as a group of hoodlums allegedly led by some prominent members of the All Progressive Congress APC took control of the section reserved for the governor. The situation quickly escalated, resulting in an assault on Honorable Maruf Gangaria, a member of the People's Democratic Party PDP, 
representing Oshobo Federal Constituency in the House of Representatives. Report have it that Governor Ademola Adeleke and his entourage arrived at the venue amidst the ongoing commotion. However, upon their arrival, the governor was surrounded by the hostile group, forcing security personnel to evacuate him from the area swiftly. The governor's attempt to reach the designated prayer point were reportedly impeded twice. It is also reported that prominent PDP leader in Oshobo were also subjected to molestation and physical assaults during the unfortunate incident. The full details surrounding the event remain unclear at this time. Despite the limited information available, it has been confirmed that Governor Ademola Adeleke managed to escape the scene unharmed.